Hey everybody, it's Serious Alex Bigley. Welcome back to my little slice of the internet. And what does that sound? That was me opening December's BAM Pop Culture Box. So, um, let's get into this. Let's not even waste any time. Of course, there is a lot of uh, black and yeah, this. There's always this. This is, a uh, that exists. Anyway, this is a signed pop of a Disney character waiting for last. On that one. I'm keeping that one wrapped up over there. So first things first is the pin, which is of Marv from uh, Home Alone. I don't know why I blinked out there. But Home Alone, and this looks like it might be limited of 50. Wow. So, this is, man, I've been getting a lot of, uh, get a lot of, like, one-up stuff in these so, yeah, okay, so this is obviously one of the uh, uh, things in this. I'm, I'm jumping right into this. Um, I know I forgot to say it, but if, in case you are interested in wondering what in the world is a BAM box, subscription box service. They specialize in one of your kind items and uh, signatures, celebrity autographs, art prints, that sort of thing. Um, I literally have nothing on the wall behind me to point out, but uh, I've gotten a lot of things from them. So, a lot of hat pins on there. So, this is a Visitor's Pass, Nakatomi Plaza, um, Century City, California. Century City. Um, that just sounds like it might belong to some, some other property. But anyway, obviously, Nakatomi Plaza, the Christmas favorite, uh, you know, Die Hard. Man, my brain's shot today. <laughs> Oh, this going on. So, um, I gotta get the art print slash photograph uh, signet out of the way first. Ah, nice little piece of artwork from um, Scrooged. It's slug brain today. Uh, say, uh, certificate of authenticity on the back here it says this art print is from our fan art collection titled Bill. Has been hand signed by artist Quillen Thompson. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so yeah, that is actually sort of very pop culture or, or pop art uh, looking. Actually, that's that. I mean, that looks good from far away, but up close, it's like it's almost looks textured. Like this was, for lack of terms, like a proper you know painting. You know, with like. Thicker paints and whatnot on a on a canvas, and uh, you know, scanned in to make these. So that's really cool. Um, I like that. And that is oh, the next thing here is a cheat sheet. Then I got the one up go for the pin. Yay! So that's one pin, one art print. By the way, the last one, the art print was the uh, or no, yeah, the art print was the um. The one up. I forgot to mention that. Uh, well, I didn't know at the time. I have since actually um, messaged somebody from BAM on Facebook. They told me that's what it was. So, um, and there was a mistake in the printing. So, I'm going to show them. My, I'm going to show it to you guys first. See the back of it here. You probably can already tell, even though I know that's on the front of the uh, box. I'm going to. I'm going to turn around. So, now I'm going to look. Oh. The theme. Um, this Dumbo Funko Pop has been hand signed by Katie Lay, uh, L E I G H, uh, who is the only person to have voiced Dumbo. It was signed during the private signing for BAM Pop Culture Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. I think, um, obviously, this is from the more recent one, which um, is pretty cool. That is really cool. I don't. Something I, irks me a little. It's a tiny, tiny bit. Is this. Bloody plastic wrap that they leave on me. I get why. I, I get why. Because um, you want it to be kind of pristine when it gets to us. And I, I get that. But it's a little bit, tiny, tiny bit of a pet thing. So, that's <laughs> uh, really cool. So, take all this off. I, I have never taken the, the pops out of these uh, that I've gotten from Bandbox so far. Uh, I have gotten a small handful of them. Uh, 
a couple of the ones that I have that I want to keep. Um, obviously, I'm leaving in there the other ones I think I'll just try to offload on eBay at some point. But uh, this one, I don't know. I don't know anybody who's who's big hardcore into Disney to uh, that I could possibly uh, gift this to or or whatever. But um, it's Disney. It's a pop. It's a signature. It's a collectible. I'm sure somebody on eBay would want this. So, um, so let me get the cheat sheet out. Woo. Okay. So there were two different pops. You had the uh, the fire the fireman one, and then the uh, the regular one. So it says we are proudly uh, proud to have the only person to ever voice the iconic Disney character Dumbo. Introducing Katie Lay. Uh, there are two different Dumbo Funko pops you may get. Uh, fan art print. That there's two different ones, and I'll show you the second one here in a second. It says you can always change tomorrow if you want to. Uh, artist. Willen Thompson brings us two different prints from Scrooged, but for the black and white variant numbered out of 500. The pins. Actually, I got the, I got the lowest numbered one. Wow. That's um, pretty snazzy. Um, let me show those off right there. So you have uh, Kevin, you have um, Joe Pesci. <laughs> It's like, I know it's Marvin something. I don't know what the names are. Um, and then you have the two different variants of... Uh, see, I don't even know um, the bloody actor's name. But I know his name is Marvin. This, so, uh, so yeah, I got 50. Yeah, one of 50. What's this? Um, when this Nathan Jung... Signed Star Trek 8x10 photo inscribed Genghis Khan. Uh, I don't know who that is. Okay. I don't know. I don't think about that. If you know. So, um, and in the movie prop, the um, <clears throat> how can you have access to Nakatomi Plaza? As well with now you can I cannot read. I don't know why today I just cannot read. Now you can have access to Nakatomi Plaza as well with this movie prop replica bag. So that was kind of cool. That was really cool. So uh, great stuff from Bandbox as always. Um, favorite thing out of there the fact that I got the. Uh, the uh, the one up for the Marv there. That's and then like and then last month I got a, a one up. So and then I think um, I think one before that I ended up getting a uh, a one up on a pin. I think it was Morticia Adams from uh, the more recent film that they made. So yeah, uh, which I haven't heard much about. Gotta look into it anyway. So join me next time because next time next month. January 2020. Um, came this close to saying 2019, but January 2020 <clears throat> starts anew for Bandbox. Bandbox is starting to uh, roll out some changes that they are implementing. They are capping the amount of subscriptions that they have for each box. Why are they doing this? For two reasons. The one, they don't over order things. They don't end up going out. Two, they don't under order things. <clears throat> that has happened a couple of times where they've done shipments. Um, they get they have stuff shipped to them, and because the you know United States Postal Service is great at their job, um, things get damaged. So that's just I mean honestly anybody who delivers something I mean it, it's bound to happen even with some of the pops I know that they've had. Some horror stories of those as well. But um, <clears throat> regardless. So they cap them. I forgot what the number is, but they're capped. That's it. Um, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that when it comes to the one-up stuff, they're actually going to give you, like, all the pins. So if you, I mean, I didn't, but that's, 
I, again, I might be wrong. That might be something that they were talking about on, the, on one of their uh, update videos, uh, possibility of doing. So, um, I don't know. I know that they're also, you know, they also want to make sure that the stuff that they have is, you know, of a more, you know, more, is a lot more rare and limited supply. So, um, so that was the BAM Pop Culture Box for December 2019. And, uh, oh, also the next Pop Culture Box, as I was trying to mention, and my dumb self got sidetracked by my dumb self, is... Sarah anniversary box. So I am interested to see uh, what will be in that. I, I think I'm going to stick with BAM box, both of them. I, I, I was initially going to only get the the horror one because I figured, oh, that's something a little more, up, you know, up my street. But I'm gonna, I think I'm going to stick with both. So uh, that is two boxes I'm going to be getting. Uh, or three, actually, if you count the uh, the... Fallout Creek. I'm going to go, I'm going to leave you folks uh, before my brain decides to ooze out of my ear. <sighs> anyway. Uh, <sighs> I think I, 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 I might need a nap. I don't know. <laughs> so, I'll see you next time. Bye.